Ahead this afternoon, it's a story that we are continuing to follow. The PIAA is expected to meet today, and they could make a final decision on whether high school sports will be played this fall or if they'll have to wait. We want to thank you so much for choosing WTAJ News at noon. I'm Maggie Smolka. Many athletes, coaches, and parents are on the edge of their seat waiting for this decision, hoping to play. On the other hand, Governor Tom Wolf making an announcement earlier this month, you may remember it, saying that he wants sports to be canceled until January of 2021. Again, we are anxiously awaiting an announcement from the PIAA today. Let's take it live now to our Morgan Cozier, who is following the story for us today. So Morgan, of course, this is going to be a big announcement for a lot of people here in Pennsylvania. Maggie, that's right. Good afternoon. Yeah, athletes all across Pennsylvania are anxiously waiting to see how their fall sports season is going to pan out, and they could have an answer here soon. So it's been about two weeks of discussion with the Pennsylvania Interscholastic Athletic Association, otherwise known as the PIAA, which may come down with a decision um, uh, this afternoon. Now, over the past two weeks, schools and their athletes have been allowed to continue preseason workouts and practices if they. Uh, if they follow the governor's sports, school sports guidance, and with so many uncertainties, a lot of parents feel concerned for their kids. It's hard to watch and have the uncertainty of not knowing if they're going to play their season, their sport they love, and what they've worked so hard for. When all this went down in the spring, uh, I had a lot of kids cried and a lot of hearts were broken over having their season canceled and them not having the chance to to shine and I would hate to see the same thing happen. Maggie, that meeting is set for 3 p.m. this afternoon. So in the meantime, this decision uh, could uh, impact and affect sports as we know it for uh, years to come. In Hollidaysburg, Morgan Cozier, WTAJ News.